everyone. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who has made a donation to our head shave so far and to kind of advocate for more people to donate. We are officially one week out from the head shave and I cannot be more excited. I feel so convicted about this event and it's changed my life already. I've had the opportunity to meet so many people who have had cancer affect their life and uh, most of you know that I work at Ash Memorial Hospital and you know I see patients every single day that I'm working and they have the amazing ability to to change my day every time I go through those doors and having St. Baldrick as the core of my conversation with them the past few weeks it's been an eye-opening experience to to know how many people are affected by cancer you can ask everyone that comes through those doors and I guarantee they know someone are related to someone or love someone who is currently suffering has lost their battle or has just been diagnosed with cancer um, or they're in remission and they've had cancer at some point in their lives um, and so St. Baldrick Head Shave um, has given us the opportunity to to reach out and to say you know what let's work through this together let's find a treatment let's find a cure and basically that's what our event is, is about I know that locks of love um, is about donating your hair for people who suffer from cancer and go through chemo treatments and I actually will be donating my hair um, through locks of love as well but I just wanted to to share my story with you guys so that you understand why I'm shaving my head. Um, it's not for the attention, it's not for any kind of, um, I don't know, selfish gain, I guess. Um, I really just want to share my walk with faith and the impact that God has had on my life. Um, I was baptized August 14th, 2013, and I knew about St. Baldrick's head shave before I was even baptized, and I thought it was the craziest thing to be shaving your head in October. I mean, it's going to be cold, and your head's going to be really cold. I was like, why don't they do it in summer? That makes no sense. Um, but after I was baptized, I was like, this makes total sense. I get it. It is uncomfortable. It's October. It's going to be cold. And you know what? Cancer patients don't get to choose when they get sick. They don't get to choose when they're healthy. They don't get to choose losing their hair. Um, and so, why should I? And, you know, I get the choice. I get the choice, though, to to make this decision to shave my head. And you know what? I get to raise money to help those who are suffering from cancer, from children that are suffering from cancer. Um, you know, a lot of people don't really think about children's cancer research and its importance. Not until we see the St. Jude's commercial on TV and cry our eyes out or it's brought to our attention. And so I, I pray that through this event, it helps open our eyes to the need for children's cancer research because there's always 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 a need um, for money I, it, it's just unreal the number of children that get diagnosed per day with some form of cancer and um, I encourage all of you to go to YouTube look up Talia Joy Castellano and Zach Sobiak those two children that suffered from cancer will change your life I promise just go look at their videos and if that doesn't inspire you to donate I don't know what will um, but they changed my life already and I'm so blessed to have this opportunity to give back to them 
and to all children who suffer. I mean, they are God's innocent ones, and and they suffer. And so, I I just I pray that you all find it in your hearts to donate, even if it's a dollar, even if it's you know just a small small amount. Every every single bit matters, and just the fact that you participated is a huge step. And even if you don't donate, if you just share this page, if you get the word out and just help. That will just, it would mean the world to me. And I know it would mean the world to everyone that is participating in this event. And I'm sorry that I ramble. I'm just, I'm really passionate about this because it combines healthcare, children, you know, and my faith. It's, it's just a beautiful thing that I hope everyone can be a part of. And if you have questions, if you just want to talk to me about it, um, anything, please. I know I just got back on Facebook, um, but please notify me. You know, message me. If you want my number to call me and talk to me about it, just let me know. I would love to talk to you about it. Um, but one scripture that has been in my heart from before I was baptized up until the day I was baptized and is in my heart every day since then is Jeremiah 29 11 and it says I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and St. Baldrick is a wonderful foundation that helps give kids a future it gives them hope it gives them another tomorrow and you know God is in control ultimately of everything and I, I just I pray that you allow him to come into your hearts and work for the greater good to fight the good fight and to to participate in something that could change your life forever so I I'll be praying for all of you and I, I hope that you'll be praying for me during this time and I just again I thank you so much for your support, and I look forward to talking to each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I just I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart.